even the simplest of props have a lot to teach us whenever we draw or paint. I use these two little birds that I kept around as an exercise in seeing shadows and overlapping shapes. I started down here and I drew this bird first. Then I turned him sideways and I drew him again and I drew this one and so on all the way up. When I got done, what I really wanted to use was the shadows, the shape of the shadows here to link all of these shapes together. It creates a nice form of linkage. Look at the shadows of this little bird, how interesting the subtlety in these shapes are. So often I find that students really do not pay very close attention to how unique the shape of shadows are. And if you just look at this, you can often see that the shape of a shadow will tell you more about the object than the object may be telling you itself. So when I finished this exercise, I decided to draw them again, but this time, wanted to give them some little legs. Poor little birds, even though they, they had no legs, I decided to give them some. Love the feeling of a little flock going back and back in the page. Have a nice feeling of a reverse S curve, almost a V. So the bird coming in out of the bottom, moving up and going out of the top. So with this one, I'm still, same subject matter, but I'm thinking more about design. Where the last one, here, I was thinking more about the shape of the shadows. The final one that I did was doing the birds again. You can see this paper is very white. This one's kind of a, a warmish gray. And it happens to be the Metian's Pastel Paper by Canson. So it handles watercolor very nicely. I'm using the shape of the birds that I drew earlier. I'm using the shape of the shadows as a way to link them together. Even the beak is overlapping the shadow as they come back. Here the birds are both obviously the same color, the same kind, and just using my own creative license to make a little blackbird here and a little sparrow and having fun with these shapes. So the simplest of objects, can be a great tool in learning how to draw and design, how to be observant with shadows, and also how to work on different types of surfaces. So keep a box of props around, fun objects to draw, and you'll be surprised how much can be learned with the simplest of supplies.